the next segment is what I'm really, really excited for. <laughs> okay. We're about to watch some hoop mixes that were sent in from some followers. All right. Um, Apologies, not going to get to everybody. Um, and there are some teams that just submitted a lot more people <laughs> than other teams, so maybe okay. not every team is going to be represented here. But yeah. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay. Yeah, but we got Jack here, New Horizon, class of 2025 is. Uh, what should be okay. noted here. Yeah. So he's not going anywhere too soon, but here's what we got. Can we make it more equal size? Yeah. So as we watch, Wes, what are you looking for when you're looking at a tape like this? So, so like, look, the first two, the first two clips are, are made shots, are mm -hmm. threes. Yeah. So right away, like right away, I want to know either what's your NBA skill Mm -hmm. what do what do you project to be at the next level yeah or your crazy athleticism if you have it yeah you know because that that overcomes all yeah obviously right um, whatever sell whatever you want to sell to yeah first i mean you know I, the way i look at it very simply overall is either you're a star or a role player yeah if you're a star okay then show me that you have a level of athleticism and ball skills and shooting and everything yeah you just press play yeah, sorry, no, I'm actually going to rewind because I also wanted to make a, a note here just from a, a video perspective. So you you know most of these guys already, so yeah. I don't know if you're going to have the same problem. But what I didn't like in the beginning of the video is they chose a poor cl clip to put up front. Sure. I, mean, I, yeah, know, I know it's, a lot of time it's, yeah. it's it's a coach or whatever. Actually, I'm pretty sure I know who made this, so sorry. <laughs> but um, I think the first clip should be very clear. I agree. Who, who the person is. And it's just like, it's a very tight window that they fit him in here. I agree. Um, I mean, look, yeah. you're, you're going to look for the quality of yeah. the video and stuff more than yeah. I am. I'm looking for the plays. Yeah. But but I agree, you know, yeah. I mean, yeah. But, and then we have another made three here. All right. Uh, a little dip, but that's okay. He's got good touch, you know. Bit of a Bit of a low release, but good touch. <laughs> That's good footwork there. So you know you're you're once you see that that you know he can shoot. I mean you don't really know again from a mixtape, but once you see that he can shoot, now he's showing his ability off the bounce and how he uses his shot, right? So, and that's more of a specific role. Like you know if you're an attacker, you're an attacker. If you're a shooter, you're a shooter. But then one level further is okay. Can you can you attack closeouts? Do you have the footwork and ball skills to be able to make mm -hmm. that which is a simple or read than you know attacking multiple levels? Um, and and still be able to get a bucket. Yeah, no, I, I like how they they gave you a break from the jump shots first, uh, from the jump shots pretty early on, just yeah. to show you that it's not it's not a one dimensional thing. Yeah. But again, that, that's the difficult part, right? Because you don't, you just don't know. Um, are those all his jump shots that he made all season? You know. Are those, no, I mean you got to watch a full game. Yeah, exactly. I would never, unless I saw something yeah. spectacular. I would never. I've I, every time I've ever talked to a player, I've asked yeah. for a game tape. So because also, this isn't gonna do anything. also no defense in the mix. Yeah. Do you click on that, or do you kind of understand? It's like, hey, this is just a, a warm up, so that you come watch my game. No, yeah, I, I don't think you need to put the defense in unless that's part of your special skill set. Yeah. I mean, you're trying to grab a coach. Let's be honest, right? And so, unless there's something great on the defensive end that you have, include the offense, and then when if they're interested they'll ask for the full tape and then they want to see you defend. Like, okay, that wasn't a finish. Like, what was that? <laughs> like, we yeah, at this point, we still don't... Again. Okay, now we can kind of understand who, who's playing here. So we're looking at 26. Yeah. So he's, he's showing you really short clips, kind of. And that kind of scares you a little in terms of his, you know, multifaceted play. He, yeah. you know, he'll show you the ball skills, but then won't show you the finish. Mm -hmm. You know, so you need to make the the ball skills are nice, but you have to be able to think the game as well and get where you want and and you know make the right decision, make the right read. Um, I actually want to go back here. So we have him picking up a guy at full court. Yeah. Presumably, it's all the same play. It looks like he's very. Um, interested in keeping it under a minute but he it skips right so you got him here here and then here like that oh 
You know what I mean? Interesting. Would you rather have just seen the yes. possession out? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. The, there's no there's no real time. Look, we yeah. want it relatively short. Um, but there's no real time to it. Um, yeah. I, I think it's a minute because uh, he probably posted on his Instagram. True. So the, you yeah. want to keep it under a minute to post on Instagram. But yeah, in an extended version, probably keep the extended highlights in there and let us see how you play. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think Jack did a good job of that in the first one. Yeah. Next, we got Samuel Kong, class of 2022, 6'3 guard. That's good. I like how he puts that in the. Just, uh, this is who I am. Yeah, it's yeah. very straight. Very needed. <laughs> yeah. A picture would be good too, but that's okay. Yeah. All right. Team contact. All right, we're going to have to mute that. Okay. Okay, so like he's he's showing you a bit of everything. And I mean, it takes him a little time to get his shot off. So I don't really believe from it mm -hmm. that it's a natural stroke or that he's a reliable shooter. So I would focus on the attacking first. He seems to be pretty athletic. He's had some nice finishes like right here, you know, where he splits the D and finishes. So I would I would start with that stuff and, you know, in the athleticism there and then, you know, show a bit of shot making in the end to show that you can shoot. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I think his skill set is more of an attacker than it is a, a, a shooter based on his shot form and the time it takes him to get it off. Um, but yeah, like I would have clipped all of yeah. these yeah, this impressive attacking finishes. Yeah. Okay, this is my game. I'm an attacker, but I'm more than just that. I can score, right? And you know, if if, a, if you just show these attacking clips, a coach will say, well, can he shoot? Well, then you, sh you know, you show the, the clips, but a team will is taking you because of your attacking ability, not because of your shooting, as you can see from the tape. You know, and, and he's and he's crafty, and he showed he's able to finish with both hands. Um, and he's got, um, you know, he's, he's he's shifty. But it, I would start with all that stuff again. You know, it's not an NBA skill, you know, attacking. But that is that is what you hang your hat on: your ability to get to the rim and make and finish. You know, so I would I would start with all that stuff because there's just random plays. It's an attack, then a shot. Then, yeah. So like, oh, are you a scorer? What what are you exactly? This one's labeled my movie. Okay. So, let's see what we got. Okay, again with the music. <laughs> oh, again, covered by the ref. Mm -hmm. Nice take. Looks like a different player. Looks like this is a lot from this weekend. Uh, this a couple weekends ago at the Phoenix. Nice. Pretty quick. Good ball skills. Yeah, I see. I like that he shows his decision making. That pass there. Good footwork. Not sure if he's the one. That, you know, what one thing all these guys can do is almost highlight yourself, like put a circle around you, so I know if you're the playmaker or you're the shooter. Yeah. And the other thing is, you're watching clips from so many different angles and places and things like that. There would be nice to be some uniformity. So I know what I'm looking at exactly, right. you know, and I can see maybe a better angle um, right. of, of the playmaking. But, you know, in general, like, I think guys want to show their um, more consistency in what exactly they do. Right. Like, if a guy shows me 10 drives, like, show me um, uh, a right, show me a left, show me... Like what it is specifically that you do, right. because a lot of this, like this one, for example, he's shown me a bit of everything and, and that's nice, but I don't know what your overall decision making is, right. is like, right? You might've turned it over four times and then you made a nice play. Mm -hmm. They might've turned it over three times, you know, and, and charged or whatever it is. And then you make, a, then you have a nice finish. You know what I mean? So um, I need to see multiple examples of of what you do and it has to be really thought out i mean yeah there's yeah i've never really i like i haven't thought about mixtapes as much as we've even talked about yeah. but you know yeah you're usually you're in the gym you're, you're usually seeing first well you got to see guys yeah. yeah you got to see them but um, but yeah um so maybe i wasn't 
super clear uh, when I put it out to Instagram, but I wanted you to guys to send tape as if you were sending it to you know a coach, right? And I think besides Sam, no one else had their name on their mix. Uh, not a lot of highlighting. I had Jack did, Jack did as well, the first two did. But yeah, so I, I think we're getting a lot more Instagram level submissions. They're keeping under a minute. Yeah. Uh, it's linked to their accounts. So they don't have to do those things, but uh, we just want to make sure that when you send stuff out to coaches and scouts. Yeah, I mean, put, put your name, put your coach's name, yeah. put your coach's contact or a reference yeah. because you're always going to follow up. I mean, yeah. as a simple example, guys send mixtapes to my clients. Yeah. The clients forward it to me. Hey, Wes, you know, what do you think about this guy? Either I know right. or if I don't, I'll text someone that I know will know yeah. based on where they play. Yeah, yeah. Um, you you want to limit the the scavenger hunt as much as possible. Yeah, yeah. And if they don't have me or the ease of access of you know no know, someone knowing who to talk to, right? They're they're probably just gonna leave it, you know. And and think about the millions of emails that every kid has probably sent yeah. to coaches, and it just gets overlooked. And, and well, that's probably part of it. And the same way I went through the emails, the same way a coach is gonna go through the emails, it's just gonna be a quick, like, I, I probably won't read. I didn't read any of the description until I opened the video and I know the coaches I talk to they do the same they just watch the tape first if they're interested then they go back and they'll read the email and say okay where is this kid playing what's right. he about what's he about so just give as much information in the video as you can yep. uh, we're going to do one more here um, again I think this is I think we've surpassed an hour at this point so um, I want to say this is going to be Ishmael it's not yes it is it's not. this is Josh Nice, I was at that game. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, these are just random plays. You know? Yeah. First was a drive, and then you have, you know, two shots. Like, what is it that makes you great, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, look, at he's just made two really difficult shots in a row. Yeah. Like, crazy high level, you know, size, athletic, footwork, showing you everything that you need to be able to create your own shot. So if that's, you know, if that's the level of player that you are, which is a very high level, which is very few guys, then show me, you know, a bunch of times where you made a crazy shot. Mm -hmm. Now I know we're probably dealing with a star type of player because of his ability to create. And then show me, you know, an attack or a, some playmaking yeah. or, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And but it, show me the highest level type stuff that you do. Yeah, you, you want to... It's almost like branding yourself in a sense. Like this is how right. you're probably going to use me in a game, coach. Right. And but I, I understand where they're coming from too. I think they want to show like, hey, like we're super, you know, multi-dimensional. I can do everything. I'm not just one thing. Yeah. Which is great. You probably are, but what's the best thing? Yeah. <laughs> what and, can I rely on you for? Yeah, and show the athleticism too. You know what? For like here, for example, where I know Josh, yeah, he should like, show his athleticism and he should show his ability to create for himself first mm -hmm. because those are elite things that most people do not have and the clip we just watched here yeah. it's the last clip of the mix yeah really um nice. Really nice play. yeah you know what i'd say the placement was good too i would say that that's gotta be like really early on or end with that because that was a yeah. great play yeah i mean yeah if you're everything. a high level playmaker yeah. then show me there you know like he, he read the help yeah. really well all he did was just engage him for that one second where he gets his eyes on him and he, and he hits the roller and he got him so um i want to give one more guy um uh, a video here it's cool. it's it's six minutes ish we're not going to watch all six minutes we don't have yeah. time for that but we'll watch the first couple just because um while we're watching ish um i know you know ish yep. um but what i really want to talk about with ish is the fact of the way he promotes his stuff um i'm sure you've been tweeted from him a few times yeah. uh, i think every oua school has been tweeted at him yeah and that's how it should be you know that should like this guy is really taking his recruiting in his own hands i know steve houston chris denley over at burlick like, they'll do you know they'll do god's work for their guys but like this is this is what you want coach sure. wants to see how you how you want and the way he's uh really advocated for himself is a big reason why i put want to put him on here um yeah, the mix is solid. I really like when he fast forwards. And yeah, like, I mean, that's sad. a good idea, yeah. showing that it's multiple possessions in a row. Yeah. Because, again, that's what we're looking for. If I see you hit two threes in a row, then I know you can probably shoot. Yeah. Um, you know, and taking charges, things like that. You know, these these are good. The, you know, if, if he's a, a shooter and, a, you know, a guy who's willing to give up his body on defense, yeah. those are two really good 
you know, two-way skills that yes. you can rely on having him on the floor. I, I'd say taking a charge in the mix is corny, but Ish really takes charges like right. that. Like, I'm saying it's multiple a game. Right. Um, having seen him play a lot, like, this is not out of character for him. Like, right. he gets, it gets to the point where the obvious charges are called blocks because they're... It's Ish's it's fifth time trying right, to charge right. in the game, Fair so enough. he gets him. Uh, Latham, how are we doing for time? Are we just about running out? Uh, yeah, three minutes. Okay, so we're gonna put a, a bone in here. We're gonna let Ish's uh, mix take us out here. But Wes, any final thoughts? Um, obviously, big time scout. <laughs> you you kind of you run the area here. Give us just one or two quick things. How to anyone can maybe boost their their prospects of playing at the next level. Yeah, I mean, you 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 got to go to war yourself. You know what? People people want my help or whatever. Mm -hmm. Do you know how I built the relationships? I went on my computer, I searched all the coaches' numbers and yeah. information and emails, and I I hit them myself. Yeah. You know, and that was you know however many years ago, and now you know these guys are my clients and friends and whatever else you know. But you you got to go to war for yourself. So mm -hmm. I agree. Put your put it on social media. Go do the work yourself. Go look up all the coaches' emails. Send an email to all the coaches. Yeah. Keep following up until they hit you back. I mean, persistence. There's no other way. Really. Yeah. Th this is this is your your dream, guys. Um, this is what you want to do. So half of that battle is just demonstrating that. Hundred um, percent. That one you can play, and two that you want to play. Like so. the the same way I thought about you know, am I scouting all these games just to you know not send out those emails and mm. tell the teams about it and try to make sales right saying did you work all that time in the gym what was the point of putting you in the gym when none of the coaches are seeing yeah. well now it's time to actually get them to see you know so well, i appreciate your time wes latham's giving me the the 60 second warning here so that's where we're gonna pause it for today but i'm sure we'll do it again and uh, sure yeah i'll i'll talk to you tomorrow i'll probably talk to you today <laughs> all right thanks for watching guys um also is this one off yet don't, don't turn that one off. Spotify, you're not useless anymore. You guys can actually rate podcasts now. So please, five stars on Spotify, Apple, five stars too. But Spotify, you can actually do something now. So thank you. Also, guys, don't forget to follow my guest here, Wes Brown. If you're not following him already and you're trying to make it, and especially in this area, you're not doing it right if you're not following Wes. Wes is the guy. It's Wes Blair Brown on Twitter, Wes B. Brown on Instagram, and Wes Brown Scouting on YouTube. And 